Okay, be careful not to drop that. <sighs> well, I told you so. And what did you do? What was that anyways? Water? Kind of a boring, you know, don't you think? Why so pale in the face? Man, water really ain't doing much for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, who am I? What? I've never seen a literal spawn of hell. Huh. I'm a demon. Did... Did you really not understand that? <laughs> I am sure it was pretty obvious. A hell from... Well, spawned from hell. Did... That really didn't click for you. Do you not watch horror or supernatural movies? Wow, you are really a gray. Anyways, I am a demon and you are in my... Oh, what shall I call it? My home? My domain? In a way, I live here, just not my free will. What I mean is I decide to mess with a few people who live here, which ended up in me being bounded to this place, leaving me trapped here, and until no one has ever stepped foot in this house. Since then. Yeah, I'm sure a little insecure about the whole thing, so I don't normally tell anyone, so feel really special that I'm telling you this. Oh, uh, you know I don't like your logical reasoning, Gray. I may not be able to leave, but that doesn't mean I haven't been able to tell anyone about it. Didn't think about that, did ya? <laughs> but no, I wasn't able to tell anyone about it until you, but that doesn't make your argument reasonable. You know, you're really calm about this whole situation. Complication? I don't know. But I'm used to cowering and screaming of terror. And the best you've done is drop a glass of water. Which you should probably clean that up, by the way. Uh, well, it, yeah, uh. Okay, now, I haven't actually done any terrorizing since my last one, which was also my first one. But, from what I know, this is not a, this is not how a, you know, mortal and a demon should interact. What? Fake? I, I, I seem fake? <laughs> Excuse me? What? Wait, wait, what do I remind you of? Oh, weird mechanical Halloween decoration things? I have horns! Are you serious? These horns don't even come off! Oh my god, you're awful. Actually, yes, that did hurt my ego quite a bit. Uh, yes, demons are real. You're literally talking to one right here. Okay, even if I was just a random person who broke into your home, you're still unreasonably calm about this? Non 
threatening? I am very threatening. I'm absolutely terrified and terrifying and horrifying and past owners. Why do you think I was cursed to never leave here? Hmm? I think I made them run for the hills, screaming wolf. Uh, yeah, I, I can show you some of my absolute really, really real scary demon powers. I can't do that, but not, not right now. Wait, not right now? Uh, ha, yeah, um, the reason why is I sprained, uh, my magic. Yeah. Okay, I can't do anything really, but usually, but seeing a demon is scary enough for people. Just seeing a spirit can make a mortal have a heart attack. Uh, what are you doing? My horns? Uh, oh, no, no, I wouldn't touch them if I were you. Told you, Gray. I know I'm so hot. <laughs> I, 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 no, 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 no. I know you meant a literal sense, Gray. I was joking. Have you never, you know, never mind. Are you okay? I know I'm literally really hot, so. Yeah, we, we went over this, uh. Well, yeah, I'm a demon who terrorizes people and totally shouldn't care for a small mortal, but you should probably run that over some cold water. Uh, yeah, I know that just burnt your hand. Yeah, I am the one who looks uncomfortable. It's just you're so stupid. If you would have just listened to me, you wouldn't have ended up like this in this situation. But, um, where are your bandages? Alright, anyways, like I was saying... First, you drop a cup of water. A glass, may I add? Then you dare to insult me and compare me to a Halloween decoration, and despite my accusations, you decide to test if my horns were real? And now let's not forget, you're still so un unreasonably calm about all of this. Really? I couldn't tell you that. You don't overreact in dangerous situations easily. My bad. Sarcasm is only language, Gray. I can call you Gray because you're boring. You have yet to show any kind of any other emotion from not being scared. Uh, weirded out or, uh, or even excitement, I would prefer that you, whatever is going on right now. Oh, I'm rude. I'm the rude one now. Hey, my horns may have burned your hand, but who decided to touch it? You. I should have been more believable. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Now come here and let me wrap your sad, pathetic, mortal hand. There. Your hand is wrapped. So for now on, don't touch me. Got it? Oh, you're using sarcastic humor. So funny. Oh, I'm laughing. I am laughing over my grave. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah, no, you're not funny. You'll never be funny, pal. 
says the one built like a fireplace. Uh, hold on. I'm not built like a fireplace. How dare you? How much more insulting can you be? You said I was built like a fireplace. What the fuck does that mean? Very. What's a surprise? You'll just be the most cheerful roommate ever, won't you? What a nightmare. You know I'm starting to think the roles are reversed here, as they should now be. But dealing with you right now feels like worse than hell. Gray, you're like watching paint dry. Oh no, it's not I a sarcasm. Ugh, you're awful. <laughs> you're literally stealing my personality right now, and I'm the ruler of sarcasm, not you. I'm not a brat. God, at least I gave you a bearable name bearable nickname. Gray or well, Gary. That's all you give me are insults. Wait, horny? That's my nickname from you? That's, well, not bad. Oh, what? What's so funny? Uh, oh, oh no. Don't walk away. Tell me what's wrong with that nickname. It's because I have horns, isn't it? Isn't it? Bring your ass back here. <laughs>